Hey guys, this video is for those of you who want to set up your VPN in, onto your Macintosh uh, through your iPhone. This is for those that have already set up Touchpad Pro so that they can access their Mac from within their network. If you have not done so, go away and go onto touchpadpro.com, see the little setup thing. A little setup tab, you click on it and it will walk you through all that. For those of you who have already done so, let's begin. So basically, Touchpad Pro allows you to access your Macintosh fully and functionally and it works. I've done, I know so because I've done it, so I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you need to do um, is you're going to have to forward your IP address. What that means is your router needs to know which computer you need to access and how it needs to do so. So first we're going to go to noip.com. Um, again, here it is, right in the little PowerPoint slide. You can set up a free account um, so that you can always remember what your IP is so that you don't have to go and, oh, dude, you know, I'm, I'm at a different location. My my host IP was changed by my cable company that I didn't know. So what noip.com does it ins is it installs your itself on your computer and it constantly refreshes so that you no longer have to go and do that yourself. So basically, you sign up for their account and once you sign up, this is where you'll be. Um, here you will see the current IP on this machine. Um, what that means, again, is that I'm in my house. This is the IP that my cable provider is now sending to me. I click Add on the left side here, and this is the page that I get. So I shall call it um, Rushman23 for test purposes, and leave this at no-ip.biz, which is the free version of it. Um, the other ones you have to pay for, so let's stick with the free as we are already cheap bastards. Um, once you have already saved this, your IP address again will be the same thing from here to here. Nothing else changes. You don't need to add anything. Just click Create Host. All right. Once you click Create Host, you will realize that it is added right here and that you will be able to modify and delete it if necessary alright so for now you need to go to downloads which is on the top of here which I just clicked on and then you will select your operating system and in this case it's Mac because Windows sucks we don't you know usually do with Windows if you have OS X 0.5 or better um, click here alright so once um, no IP is open and on your machine this is what you're going to see here. You're going to first see this and you're going to go, oh, what the heck is this? Remember the password and username that you created from noip.com? This is where you enter it. So in my case, it would be this at gmail.com and my password. So then I click OK. And what it's going to do now is going to log into your online account. So now I was going to retrace, and there we go. So basically, make sure this is not checked. It's only because I've already done this before. Make sure that that is selected. Okay, and again, remember that this is for test purposes to show you how to do this. Obviously, I'm going to change this. That doesn't even exist, actually. So now that that part of the venue is finished, we need to go to our airport. Um, First off, I have a an Airport Express. So basically, we're going to go onto Utilities. So we can go either to the Application and then go to the Utilities, or we can go Command Shift U. Um, double click Airport Utility to open, and it shall discover my Airport Express, which is this. So third. Okay. So basically, I'm going to just go through this so that you know what your airport needs to look like. First off, base station. A lot of other configurations tell you that you need to allow configuration over Ethernet WAN. You do not need to do so. Completely ignore all of that. Um, 
and that's pretty much all you need to do in this area um, under your internet settings NAT needs to be enabled we're gonna get to DATP in just a second um, so what that means is you need to click enable default host at this webs this uh, IP address sorry and then you need to enable NAT port mapping protocol alright so you don't have to update anything just yet then you're going to click on the DHCP and you're going to go to DHCP reservations now what this is here is you're going to assign your machine a static IP address so that your IP never changes and then you know you're in Europe and you need to email yourself a file and you're screwed so basically you're going to call this Mac uh, I'm going to do it by MAC address and I'm going to show you how to get that just shortly. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go to click on the Apple and then about this MAC. This little thing will show up. Click on more info and then you're going to scroll down to network. And under network you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and here you will have your MAC address you're going to copy that and then you're going to close system profiler and you're going to paste your MAC address right in there and here is where you give your reservation IP whatever it is that you want alright so I've already done this I've given mine one two so that means it's done allow SNMP allow SNMP over WAN this is under the advanced tab under port mapping now is where we're going to set up the tunnel through which your iPhone is going to come into your Mac. We're going to click the addition button and we're going to choose a service. The simplest and easiest way to do this is Apple Remote Desktop. It has all the incoming and outgoing ports that will need to be bypassed so that you can do it safely and securely. Um, we click continue call it what you want I'm gonna call it iPhone away from home you do not want to advertise this globally click done and you're thinking is it really that easy yeah so that is pretty much it and so here no oh, wrong picture let's try this again so right here is what it needs to look like uh, remember that Rushman23 that we created, home away from home, then your password, your screen view obviously needs to be on, uh, Mac mode obviously needs to be on, media server needs to be off because that's only for Windows and yeah. So um, you click save and to test this, and first of all you need to test to make sure and to ensure that your that your Mac can actually get out. So what we're going to do is go to a website by the name of canyouseeme.org and here it is. So here on the top left corner is going to ask you for your IP and what port. Default port is always 5900. Um, that's the port that you're going to use. So you click check. It's going to see your IP address here. And then you're going to get this little thing on the bottom. which. It says success that I can see there we go success I can see your service on blah 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 on port 5900 so my ISP is not blocking that alright so that is it oh no I know